the back lining, the piece no number 21, the side back lining, and the piece 20, side front lining. So we have to attach piece 22 and 21. Look, I have here a couple notches. So you just have to match the notches, notch and notch, and then notch and notch together. So 22, 21, and then side seam, and side seam together. So this is my uh, right side. So just attach all the pieces together, and then just center back, and center back together, and continue with the other piece, exactly the same, that means that here you have the piece number 21 and then piece number 22, side front. I already attached my lining, so you can see here, side front and side front, side back and side back, and this is my center back. The, the, the pattern has a notch on the center back, so you see here, this is the center and we have a couple notches because the jacket has a pleat on the center back. So you can uh, press the pleat before, atta before um, attach it, attach the lining to the jacket, but you know, I think it's better for you if you see the, the pleat. So I already pressed the pleat. Now I'm going to attach the lining to the jacket. I have, this is the facing front. So I'm going to attach the side front and the facing front. So just pin the bottom, align the hem and pin like one inch above the hem. And then match the notches. And one more and then finish at the uh, side panel. So side panel and facing. So I'm going to attach first the side panel and the facing. I'm going to attach this piece from the last pin, so that means that I am not going to attach lining and facing all the way down. So I am going to attach the lining, I am going to start like far, a one inch above the edge, the, the hem. Here I already attached the facing and the front panel. Look that the baron, I didn't attach the baron, so I left like one inch from the baron to the pin. Now I'm going to attach the back facing. I just have half, I'm sorry, I just have half uh, the facing. So I have my pleat. So yes, pin the pleat and attach the bike facing from shoulder all the way to the center and just continue with the other half of the facing. All the seam allowances for this jacket are half an inch. So pin the facing and the lining together. And a 
attach these two pieces half an inch okay ready center back and facing together next step is press the interfacing the on the bottom so we have here this piece it's a long piece the interfacing and just press the interfacing align the bottom and the edge of the interfacing and then fold the hem two inches up so fold the hem and press it because we need the crease for the hem the um, interface piece is ready and I just fold the hem two inches up now I have to attach lining and the edge of the hem so turn the jacket right side and right side together and pin the lining and the hem along the edge so I pin the, my lining here seam allowances together center back and seam allowances so I just have to match the seam allowances and then continue all the way along the hemline so attach here half an inch up attach by hand the hemline of the jacket and the hemline uh, you can just attach the pieces with a bar tack this is by hand a couple of stitches so that way you keep the hem on place so do this step and all, all the way across the hem and in all the seam allowances the same for this one and then all the way across the last step before um, turn the jacket to the right side we have to attach the collar and the facing just align notch and I'm sorry shoulder and shoulder and with long basting double thread attach the two colors that way that the facing and the jacket remain together okay so just attach it any stitch until the notch or until we we snip the collar I'm sorry the jacket bar tack and now we can turn the jacket inside out from the armhole everything inside out from the armhole jacket and the lining so now pin the armhole for the lining and the jacket together
the pins are all around the armhole and now with the hand, the hand stitches, hand stitch, just attach the lining and the jacket all around. This is a basin stitch, this stitch is provisional. It's to keep the two materials together so that way when we attach the sleeve it's easier for us to manipulate the jacket. We have the jacket ready, now we can attach the um, sleeve lining.